Let's take a look at some examples where we work with special angles. Just a reminder, our special angles are the angles of 0, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees and 90 degrees. And they are called special angles because we are expected to remember or to learn the ratio values for the special angles off by heart. So you need to learn the values in this table. <clears throat> so one of the easy ways that you can learn it is if you think of 2 as being the square root of 4, and you think of 1 as being the square root of 1, you can see that there is a pattern in the way that the numbers change as you go down the column of the table. The x values start at root 4, then root 3, root 2, root 1, and 0, if you go from 0 to 30 to 45 to 60 to 90. And the y values do the opposite. They start at 0, then square root 1, square root 2, 3, and 4. You then have the R values as 2 for all the angle values in the table. Okay, so that is one of the ways that you can help you to remember this table. And if you don't have a copy of this table in your notes, please pause the video here and make a copy. Okay, let's just also remind ourselves of our uh, three trig ratios that we work with. The sine of an angle is the opposite over hypotenuse, which is the same as the Y over the R. The cos of an angle is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, which is also equal to the x over the a, uh, radius. And the tan of an angle <coughs> is equal to the opposite side divided by the adjacent side, which is the same as y over x. Okay, let's take a look at some examples. Without using a calculator, determine the value of the following. Please pause the video here and try these on your own. Number one. We need to find the sine of 60 degrees. So if we go back to the table and we look at 60 degrees, sine is the ratio of y over r. So it will be root 3 over 2 because that is the y and the r value for 60 degrees. So it will be root 3 over 2 and it's the sine squared of 60 degrees. So we need to square that ratio. The cot of 45, cot is the reciprocal ratio for tan. So it will be the x over the y value, and we are looking for the cot of 45 degrees. So if we look here, the x is root 2, the y is root 2, root 2 divided by root 2 is 1. If we simplify that, the square root of 3 squared is 3, 2 squared is 4, and 3 quarters plus 1 is 7 quarters. Number 2. We are looking for 1 divided by the sine of 30, so it will be 1 over the ratio for the sine of 30, plus the sec squared of 30. So if we just go back to the table, sine of 30 <coughs> is the y value divided by the r value, so it will be 1 over 2. So sine of 30 degrees is a half. The sec of 30 degrees, secant, is the reciprocal ratio for cos, so it will be the r value over the x. For 30 degrees, that will be 2 over square root 3. So it will be 2 over square root 3 all squared. If we tidy that up, 1 divided by a half is the same as saying 1 times 2, which is 2. And 2 over root 3 squared is 4 over 9. Oh, sorry, 4 over 3. Square root of 3 squared is just 3. And 2 plus 4 thirds is uh, 2 and 4 thirds which as an improper fraction is 10 over 3.